crank toss. I have received an overwhelming response to the question that I ask at the end of each episode. What's your pleasure, love? Pigtails. Apparently, everyone's pleasure is pigtails. And as a dutiful and devoted hostess, I have obliged. You're welcome. Back to the steam mail. Suspicious in Sussex asks, My beloved goes out constantly every night with no reason for his absence. What's the matter with him? In order to explain this convoluted mystery, I have brought in an expert on all things convoluted. The answer to your dilemma is as obvious as it is unpleasant. My dear, your beloved is... How can I say this? Your beloved is... A time traveler! A time traveler? Are you sure? Positive. I have studied all text on time travel. From Keanu Reeves to Ashton Kutcher. Are those authorities? Who's the expert? I'm the expert. Let's go to the evidence. Sometimes my beloved justifies his disappearance with a business meeting, but he has not had a job for the last year. Isn't it obvious? He's traveling to the past to try to kill Hitler. Hitler? The past? She means the future. It gets confusing around here. In any case, look to your beloved's belongings. If you find an eye patch, it's a clear indication of a German assassination. And other times, my beloved returns with rouge stains on his shirt. That's because he's traveling to the future. A dystopian future, where apes evolve from men and they throw makeup at us. Why would they do that? I don't know, I'm not an expert on evolution. <laughs> and sometimes... My beloved leaves right after receiving a message from my best friend. Oh, my dear, that is because his constant time travels have created a paradox, and he has become his own grandfather. His own grandfather? Or the grandfather of your best friend. Or the beloved of your best friend. It is difficult to be precise when the universe is crumbling. Well. Apparently, men are more of a puzzling mystery than originally estimated. <laughs> Please don't forget to send your questions to askacamharlot at gmail.com. And as always, what's your pleasure, love? Other than pigtails, of course. <laughs>
developed a passion for a certain gentleman. How do I tell if my love is true or just a fancy? This is a common question for the inexperienced heart. Experienced heart knows that there's no such bollocks as true love. There is a test to test if you are truly in love. I call it the text text to test. And to test it, I have brought in a test texting test tester. Please welcome. Lila dear. Hello, chastity dear. The first sign to see if your love is indeed true is to send a message. And if the words that you write are more eloquent than they sound, then it is indeed true love. Dear sir, I thoroughly enjoyed the races with you. Your thoroughbred was quite the champion. second test is to send another message and as you write it do you feel a burning fury consuming inside of your heart later that night when we were strolling through the moonlight you looked into my eyes and I felt compelled to tell you the third and final sign is True love will inebriate your senses, like the tincture of opium, like a bouquet of fine and exquisite wine. I've developed some longing for you. Well, if all three signs are present, then indeed what you have is true love. No mistake at all. Did I just send that to my dad? Until next time. And don't forget to send your questions to askacamholic at gmail.com where I'll ask you what's your pleasure in love. <laughs>money are we talking about? So, just to avoid a social scandal, bring a huge diamond ring. No.